Ooh, okay. This might be a, a mirror matchup. Hmm, Agrimar is pretty important. Do we want to keep the Titan Boards trapped? Though, that's a good question. Hmm. I guess we'll keep it. But having Agrimar with that is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, Renthal. Okay, well, it's nice to have the... The Haldron on uh, turn four really boosts our win rate here. And this is probably a big beast hunter, so I think we... They love a little oh, bit yeah. Of... I don't think they beat this, because they have a lot of taunts and everything like that. It's going to make it a little bit harder to... A little bit harder to deal with. I mean, I really don't want them to get value off of uh, pulling out their secrets, so... He's probably going to trade here and tap, or play the... Um, Two man spell that sums up one four taunt. We well, played the secret, so that's what hidden meaning then. Probably, or it could be bane trap too. I guess bane trap is probably more more likely in a uh, big beast hunter deck. Drops on four. Okay. Well, good thing we'll have these here for next turn. We could have a bunch of secrets go off. This could be cheaper. Yep. This is probably gonna be a really hard matchup, actually. I don't I don't think we could win this, just judging by our, how our hand is. Like our Agamar has to be like it either has to come down before theirs and we get a lot of value off of it without them removing it, or they just keep on coming up a bunch of ta taunts and where we're just wasting our charges on our weapons on taunts instead of going face. Okay, okay. Struggle. That trick. Not one more. I'll be wanna look for like an explosive trap. You already have a hidden meaning here. Um it's honestly probably freezing trap, but I don't want to get value out of anything else here. Yeah, pulling out more. I think we'll just go for motion denied. Uh, I mean, he's most likely going to trade, so we could probably bait and switch here. Play that. I don't like spending the three damage onto this. But it probably it, it has to be done. I mean, I'm not sure how many secrets are being played right now in Big Beast Hunter, but if that's uh, their last secret, then that's fine. But if they play more, then it's just hard not to... Uh, we don't want them spinning out their deck faster than they, they are with us, so... If they decide to trade here, bait and switch will go off. They used to pull their mana, we'll get a 3-3, and if they play a bunch of stuff, they'll take 6 damage, which is good either way. Yeah, you can take the 7 damage face. That's great. That's great. Okay, we're gonna play our Agamar here. Go for the Enforcer, I think. Or do we want to draw something? Ooh, that's pretty good too, but I think we have to play this right away. Uh, what are the chances that he could remove it? There, let's see. We're gonna either way. We're gonna trade into this. I think we want to draw a card first. I mean, it probably makes sense to go for the immune, so we'd hit there. And we're drawing less cards. I don't know. I, I really value the card draw right now since we don't have our uh, hundred arrow, and he only has a little bit on the board. So yeah, that's fine. Can this attack right now? I can't remember if the meeting allows him to react right away. When the opponent turns in. Yeah, okay. But he's able to remove it. I guess it's better I picked the draw there then. Because we were going to be running out of resources pretty fast. And he still has, you know, six cards in hand, so... What's better or not? Looks like it's going to be a, a Eversong portal turn. And probably Cat Trick. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Go here. I uh, probably should have drawn first in reality, but that's fine. Do that. It's fine. We'll go for this. Um, if he has the Hollow Hound, we're just kind of done for. He'd probably trade here or here. So we're back up to full HP, and he's gonna give more stats on it too with the hope for Qualis. So unless we like get to our um, what's it called? Kraken Bane, 
able to play a bunch of spells and uh, win that way, then we're good. But kind of varies. We just have to be beat him before turn nine, so he doesn't get the um, King Crush off because we're pretty low on HP, and we don't have any type of healing in the deck. Um, oh, that shouldn't change anything. Yeah, so he did pull it out. But, shouldn't Freezing Trap go off? Oh, no, we didn't pick Freezing Trap. Okay, yeah. Man, I, I hate Hollow Hound. Such an annoying card. I don't think he could deal with it. Since he pulled it off, it means he doesn't have one in hand. Which means... Draw first. It's kind of good. At least allows us to remove it. And we're just hoping he doesn't top deck um, another Hollow Hound. I don't. I don't think he has one in hand. If he had to play Faithful Companion for it, instead of like him saving it for a King Crush and trying to do it, so he might have the Crush in hand. Because the moment he you know attacks with this, the Crush goes up to ten attack. Um, and it's just an attack and then pure power or this and a weapon, and we just lose. Oh, he gets it off of that, of course. It's so annoying. We just have to hope he doesn't have another one of these selective breeders to go with it. Again, just have to hope for no crush. If he has his crush, we're just done. So. He might have had it already in his opening hand, if that's the reason why he didn't pick it off of um, the Faithful Companion. So he might just have it. I kind of wish I picked Freezing Trap. We would have at least had him like lower on HP and probably could have won like last turn. So that's just on me on not reading the situation for what it could have been. Oh, okay. Or he just concedes. I guess he didn't have it. That's crazy. I thought I was going to lose that for sure. And still undefeated. I think we're what, 7 0 now? It's crazy. And we're going against Druid, okay. Uh, maybe we don't want to keep the Kraken Bane here. Yeah, just keep the Singer. That's fair. We'll just keep that. Ooh, okay. This is the hand. Go Costume Stinger on one. Two, probably play Double Tremors. Three, play a bunch of them. Four, follow up with Brightwing. Probably be set. It's a pretty aggressive hand. It's really good. And we're also, also pretty lucky. Like, honestly, like, with this going down to four, I haven't even felt a difference with it. It's just such a good card that if you're able to <laughs> play it on the, you know, turn it cost, it just does so much. So it's not just specific to the hand like the other guy is, like this one. It hits a deck too. It doesn't really matter when you play it. I guess it kind of matters like if you've already went through all of your stuff, your arcane stuff, but I think that's very unlikely. You always have something. Oh, okay. Treant Druid. Looks like we're going to have to go for like some explosive traps off all of our um, Titan Forge traps. If we're lucky enough, of course, but... It's like we're probably going to be playing the cat trick, actually, so we can stay on the board a bit. Eh, maybe not. I can't do, that. do this. Play the Trinket Tracker. Trick shot's fine. I think on turn three, we're actually going to coin out this, so we're going to have this powered up, so we can remove the board that he has. This is Treant Druid. Probably, unless it's some weird Druid variant that plays Witchwood Apple for no reason.
Okay. Yeah, for that reason, I want to have these ready here. Draw as much as we can. We'll go face here. We don't need to poke anything. We'll probably double trade here, or maybe he might buff one up and trade. Either way, the ricochet shot will clear whatever else he plays. We also have this ready, so big plus as well. Oh, going face. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. If it hits all three of them, that'd be perfect. That's fine. Just gonna do that, actually. I don't think they play any type of removal. I think it's just all aggro type stuff, so I think dropping down a bunch of 4-1s is actually better for us. Um, they must have a 2 4 fours to follow up if he's able to deal with the board. And we'll soon have, be able to draw three cards off of this as well, and then Rastelar is ready next turn. Uh, the Train Druid doesn't play Drum Circle, I don't think, right? I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Probably good to get the Astlar ready. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Do that. Go ahead and trade there to be safe the off chance that he does have a um what's it called? Drum circle, I guess. Yeah, because he played this. I mean he probably has it. I'm assuming. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it's good thing we played the tra cat trick there, so we could actually react to the board a bit. Um it's probably gonna be these two together, but I want to make sure I get the trading stuff down. So we'll go four, 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 like that. Go two. Go here. So I'm gonna both of these. Go four, four. And are we gonna overdraw? No, we won't. It would be nice to have a star power. I'll leave it. Mm. I don't think it matters for trading, but we'll do it. I don't think if he has another jump circle, we shouldn't lose because it's just a 2-2 two, two buff, right? Yeah, 2-2 two, two buff. Okay. Two, four, that's seven, eight. Shoot, we just lose. You have to high roll and get like explosive trap off of this. Explosive trap? Yes, okay. It's not bad. Um, so we don't lose. That's five damage there. He cultivates, we lose. This has to go face, because if it, if this goes off and say he doesn't have it, wipes the board, we have this and this next turn, and Agrimar. That's... This might be our far, first loss, actually. We didn't see our star power at all in this game, which kind of <laughs> makes it a bit harder. Attack first, please. Do it. Do it. That's fine. That is fine. We still, we should, we should still win. We have enough damage. I think. Three, that's five. Plus two from Explosive Trap, that, that's exactly lethal. Unless he taps. Okay. That's fine. We, we win. Oh, and, and the motion that goes off too. Oh my god. Still undefeated. Didn't play around either of those. Nice. Such good. Such good deck. It's crazy. Okay, warrior. Um... After this Odin warrior, I think we have a good matchup against it if we just outpace him before turn 8. Not the best hand though, so that might not happen. 
not a good hand. I need to see my costume singer. Awakening the tremors, anything, you know. Okay, yeah, so it is Odin. Okay, well, that's nice to see. We'll just chimpo this out. Okay, got his removal, his, uh, whatever it's called. Three mana spell that deals five and then five to random stuff. Got this on four. If we could see, you know, any of our just aggressive stuff, that'd be nice. Oh! Never mind, it might be the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Black Rock and Roll Warrior. Which I honestly, I don't see too, too many of those ever. I don't even know if there is even a deck that's being played. Consistently on the ladder right now. Let me check that. Yeah, Control, Enrage, and Menagerie are the only three decks right now. Let's see, is there any like new trending decks that are happening right now? Blood Warrior, Blood Death Knight's coming a thing, Outcast, Drum, Arcane, Rainbow. Yeah, it doesn't look to be. Hmm. Whoa. That's pretty big early on. Shoot, we don't even remove everything here with this and that. A little unfortunate. Yeah, I guess we're gonna play this. Drop all those down. Chopey trades, you know. Then we can play this and kill the 5-5 the five five or the 5-1 the that is left over. And we also have Agrimar here too. Um, which I probably don't want to play into a board like this. That's uh, a bit annoying, but the big thing is we can remove it. Or a good portion of stuff. If ever so lucky. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, please. Don't hit that. Okay, well, it feels bad spending all that there removing stuff, but... Him having a board is scary against us, and we're already pretty low on HP. We haven't seen a single secret this game, so this is just a 6-mana six 6-2, six which is not great. Okay, that's fine. Okay, spinning armor stuff, that's fine. Uh, we're going to play this into uh, the uh, draw. Okay, every song portal's good. React a little bit now. Shield slam, that's fine. Oh man, all that drawing. It's Ignis too. Okay. Um turn. Eight. I think I want to play this, but at the same time, I want to play the Eversong Portal, I think. Um, double trade there. We have three mana left over. We could tap. Play a Cosmic Singer. The draw first. Not bad. Actually, I think I'm going to burst with that first and then play this. Because he can't blade storm this, he'd have to brawl it if he wants to get uh, get through all of it, or he'd have to play his uh, thing that he um, forged. Assuming that's what it was, but yeah, trial by fire. Okay, so he has something left over. That's the five five. I don't think he has his Odin yet because he didn't play it, and our board isn't like it wasn't. Highly threatening to him, I'm sure. Okay. That's fine. Nine damage. Really? Okay, dude. Right in the face. I'm gonna have to spend both of these on that. 
Let's draw first. Play a Vassalor as well, I think. Yeah, that's good to see. Seven cards, say, so we won't burn. Okay, all that's pretty good. Uh, if he has the Odin, it doesn't really change anything. He's going to play the Odin. And we're going to have to hope that we kill him next turn. Unless he doesn't... He wasn't fortunate enough to draw into it, which... Might not be the case. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well... Let's see here. It's really hard to deal 30 damage with this. Um... Motion denied. When an enemy attacks your hero, summon that. Yeah. I just play this and just double trade in. I think that's fine. Hidden meaning. So if he plays, if he, if he uh, spins all his armor stuff to try and kill me, it's going to uh, summon it to a new target. And then we'll have another chance. That's fine. Won't change how much damage we take. I, I don't think we win this game. Uh, yeah, we probably don't. That goes up to what? Seven? <sighs> yeah, we lose. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Unless he doesn't have any armor gain or any other. Because that's seven, nine. He could deal up to nine with just what he has on board. Yeah, he has it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So if we could get him down enough to like motion to nine level, then we've been fine. But. Wasn't the case. Well, our first loss wasn't too bad. 